This is uh, where you'd get in security to uh, the B gates. We're going to the C gates and we're going to Cincinnati. So hope you enjoy. Let's see what uh, Christmas stuff we can find. This is a popcorn place and a huge line for it. And there's some Christmas stuff way back there. This is United again. United, they, they, they do some stuff. They do some decorations. You can also see some stuff way back there. But at the top of their stuff, there's some... Uh, oh, this is the way I need to go. Try to see. I'm not gonna lie, the music's not very loud. All right, so my next flight is uh, gate C9, uh, which just looking at this is to the left and doesn't board till six o'clock. It's currently 5.05. So I have some time and look at that. There's some Christmas stuff right in front of us and it's another United area. <laughs> uh, let's go check it out though. Let's see what this is. Just uh, some Christmas trees. I think this is all United. Um, there's some big presents here. Big fireplace. Not even very real looking. And a couple more trees. It looks like somebody tried to open that one. Not very many ornaments, if any. Yeah, that's about it. On the other side is Oh, a little place for kids to play in. Uh, Tis the season, whatever that thing is. Looks like a gingerbread house. It's in 11.36. Four little pieces. <laughs> about seven, I don't think that's my plane, but it says C9, so maybe that's it. I think that's way too big, though. We have pilots. Hey, Mason and Cam. Going to Cincinnati. 7A. This is not the plane that I thought. Uh, I was looking at another plane on my trip. Welcome back to the world of getting a good seat. So it was an A320, not, not a 319. You can see lots of room. Uh, it is like raining here in Chicago, so probably won't get a lot of footage until we actually uh, start taking off. Deck. Stop just short of our parking gate. Wait for uh, wait for ramp personnel to come out and bring us in the last 50 feet of the gate, please. All right, it took a little while for us to get this gate, and then we get it, we come in here. Uh, but while we're doing this and ready about to get off, let's go ahead, pull up FlightAware. Let's look at this. You can see across the country, there's just some rain. It's just scattered everywhere. It's kind of weird. But uh, this is a short, easy flight. You'll see here, uh, I, I think it's about 45 minutes, but you'll see right about 
in this area right about here. So we, we level off, we hit our altitude, and we're not there for very long, and all of a sudden we're coming back down. It, like 45 minutes in the air, I think, is about what this flight is, so that's cool. Uh, it's also, this airport for Cincinnati is actually in Kentucky. It's not in Cincinnati, even they call it um, <laughs> Cincinnati, but whatever. Uh, easy peasy flight. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, let's get to the rest of us. seeing any Christmas decorations here. A little disappointed, Cincinnati. Feels like a dead airport. CBG. Hey, they're playing Christmas music. It's better than nothing. Uh, okay, we got some Reese. Some stuff there, some lights. Some more Reese over here. Uh, this one. Here's some big Christmas trees. The one on the right's got a lot of people by it, so we'll go to the one on the left. Did you see the one? There's one on the right. Here's one on the left. Wow, okay, this is now, now we're talking. Feels like Christmas. A lot of people just staring here watching. Come on in. Oh, this is awesome. Like, look, they got Christmas trees everywhere where you go get luggage. Check that out. This is what I'm talking about. Like, just at the luggage carousel, that other one. Is there four Christmas, five Christmas trees down there? Then this one. See, yeah, that's pretty. Then lights all around. All these uh, areas have them. See, this is what's disappointing about Denver is they have nothing up. It's like, you wouldn't even know if it was Christmas unless you really looked for it. Check this one out. Let's see how many Christmas trees they got up here. <laughs> Probably more than all of Denver combined. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. See that? Now we're talking. That's a that's a nice nice job, Cincinnati. You represent. Well. All right. Found this right at the rental car place. Some more little decorations. I got some lights down here. Not busy at all, so I'll be able to rent this thing fast. Okay, so I hopped on an elevator. I'm going to the fourth floor and I'm looking for uh, J33. See, I was looking and it said 32, 33. I thought it was this minivan. It's actually this thing here, this Nissan. I think it's like a Bolt or something. I had one of these the other, like a couple weeks ago when I was in Boston. Let's see what this thing's called. Kicks, that's right. Plural kicks. This one's cooler though, it's got black rims. Still looks like a cheap car, but hey, I really don't care. This is my hotel, it's a Marriott Courtyard, I believe. And looks a little dated, like really dated. It's kind of got a smell to it. I guess it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, I made it here to Lexington. Literally just putting down my stuff right now. And tomorrow, if I can hold this properly, uh, I'm gonna be working the game. So uh, I'll bring you along, show you a little of that. So I just got back to my hotel and I was thinking, I totally forgot to shoot any of the behind the scenes stuff at the University of Kentucky today. And uh, honestly, things just, there were so many problems with the show uh, before we started, during the show, all that kind of stuff. I never even thought about it. It just totally escaped me. So I apologize for that, but I hope you liked this video. And if you did, be sure to hit like and then subscribe. Uh, that way uh, you can be notified when new videos are posted. And when you hit the like button, it lets other people know, like let YouTube know to send it to more people, that sort of thing. So I really appreciate all the people that do that. And as always, take flight.